Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to put your garage door openers onto UPS or generator. Now over here on the left I have the Centurion track and it's got its own battery but guess what even if you don't use it after 45 minutes the thing is dead. So uh, it still needs to be put on a battery backup or a generator. And on the right hand side here, this is a very old uh, unit. This is called the Genie Pro. Uh, those of you who have got gray hair would know what this is. Anyway, this one does not have a battery bank and needs to be put on a UPS or a generator. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. Right, now just giving you a lay of the land here. There is the Centurion one and it comes with a normal electrical plug. So that's been just plugged in on a into an adapter over there and the genie well that one is also just an electrical plug so there it's sitting over there and it's plugging into an outlet over here so all you're really doing is instead of it being fed from your ac supply um, you're now going to feed it directly to your generator or to your um, changeover switch or to your, your UPS. So in my case I'll just show you. Uh, this is a CBI ready board and the reason why I use this is because a lot of people forget that when you use a generator uh, you still need to have earth leakage. If a human touches or an animal touches the live and the neutral they'll get a massive shock. So you still need to have an earth leakage, not just an overload trip. See, this is overload. That means if you go over a certain amount of current, it will trip. Earth leakage measures the differential between the current coming in and the current going out. And if it sees there's a, a difference, it will trip, meaning that the current is being lost somewhere, i.e. going through a human down to the earth. So the person is getting an electric shock. Okay, so I prefer to use a ready board, or it doesn't have to be a CBI ready board, but something like this, just as a, a line of defense for humans so that we don't get shocked. So whether you're using a UPS or a generator, you should still put it through an earth leakage. Okay, so there you see the uh, Centurion one just plugged into an adapter there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to now run that to the uh, UPS. Okay, so here's the up top system. Uh, I've plugged in the garage door opener, the Centurion one, and then here's the other one from the Genie. I made a little Janus coupler. I do have a video explaining how to wire a Janus coupler. Basically, I've just made an extension cord. Um, then it runs, it runs uh, over the rafters and then it comes to my uh, little uh, ready board here. So that means I've now unplugged my garage door openers. So when I try and engage it, you see uh, nothing will happen. And when I plug it back in, now this is fed from a UPS. In your case, it could even be a generator. It really doesn't matter. Right, it is now on, even though the mains is off. Uh, load shedding if you're South African, you know what that means the power is off But here it is on because I'm feeding this via a UPS and in my case UPS and generator combo So there's the UPS. It's feeding the DB board and Then it's feeding directly into my garage doors. You can see the UPS is powered even though the mains is offline Uh, there you can see the mains, I've set it to be offline, and there we go. Right, so as I said, you could be using a UPS or a generator, doesn't matter, either would work. The generator would then feed into the ready board, and if you don't have this or you don't know how to do it, it's fine. In the worst case scenario, you could just plug this straight into the generator. Usually in the front of the generator, there are some plug tops where you could just plug it in directly. But as I said, uh, I do recommend you first go through an earth leakage. Alright, so I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching. Cheers.